Hello, using my place value disks, I made the number 266. And I'm gonna use this to count up to 272. So 266, 267, 268, 269, 270. Now once I have 10 ones, I can bundle these together and make a 10. So I'm gonna bundle my 10 ones make a 10. So now I have 270 and I can continue. 271, 272. Now I'm going to count by hundreds to 772. So I have 272, oh, 372, 472, 572, 672, 700, 72. And now I'm going to count by ones to 780. 772, 773, 774, 775, 776, 777, 778, 770, nine, 780. Now once I have 10 ones, I can bundle these together and make a 10, just like before. So now I have 780. Now I'm gonna count down by tens to 700. So I'm only gonna be changing this tens place. So I have 780. So take a 10 away, 770. 760, 750, 740, 730, 720, 710, and 700. So with 700, I have seven one hundreds, zero tens, and zero ones. Now I'm going to put one more one disc in there. So now I have 701. Now I'm going to count down by tens from 701 to 671. Well, I need to make, I need to get some tens. So I'm going to unbundle a 100. So a 100 is made of 10 tens. So if I take this 100, I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens for this 100. So now I have 100s to count down. So right now I still have 700 because this is 100 in tens, 701. Now I'm gonna count down by 10. So if you look here, I have 691, 681, 671. So this was a nice warm up with counting up by ones, counting up by hundreds, counting down by tens, bundling and unbundling. Thank you. Now we are going to use what we've learned about the ones, tens, and one hundreds place to find the missing number in these patterns. A pattern can be written horizontal or vertical like in the form of our tree here. So we have 110, 111, hmm, hmm, hmm. And we have to figure out what the missing numbers are. Well, if we look at our pattern, we can see that our ones place is changing. Our tens place is staying the same. And our hundreds place is staying the same. So that would lead us to determine that our ones place is increasing. Well, zero to one, so it's increasing by one. So if I add one more, that would be 112. One more would be three ones, 113. And one more 
would be four ones, 114. So finding this number pattern was easy once we found that the 100s place wasn't changing, the 10s place wasn't changing, just the ones place was changing and it was increasing by one each time. So we're just adding one to our counter. Now this pattern is a little more difficult because in our last pattern, we had two numbers right next to each other. In this pattern, we kind of alternate. So we have 770, hmm, 750, hmm, 730. So our first thing is to look at each of the place values and see which one's changing. When I look, I see the ones place and each of my numbers is zero. So the ones place is not changing. So it's not counting up or down by ones. Now I look and I see that the tens place is changing because I have a seven. So seven tens, five tens, and three tens. And then my hundreds place is seven each time. So that makes me believe, and I'm gonna try my tens place to see if the tens place. Now, the next thing I have to decide, is it increasing or decreasing? Well, it's seven tens, hmm, five tens, hmm, three tens. So it seems like it's decreasing. So let's try taking away a 10 each time. So 770, take one 10 away. 760, we can also read this like 77 tens, 76 tens, 75 tens. So this one would have 74 tens and then 73 tenths. So 770, 760, 750, 740, 730. And then I could also write this vertically. So 770, 760, 750, 740.